they will have roof shingles over them, and what you'll see is just this sticking out. Okay? What you'll see is just this sticking out. Or occasionally you might see it looking like this one. So the roof material is over the top of it, and you'll see this sticking out. Okay? This is an approved anchor. We love these. And we really encourage roofers and um, new homeowners to install these when you guys are putting new roofs in to install permanent roof anchors. We put two in our houses in, Kirk, in Kirkland because I had two slopes on my roof. Because, and these cost under 20 bucks. I, I, I've seen a thousand houses and I probably have seen two that have right. anchors. Something fairly recent in the last five years is a big push now. Okay. Now, that's not going to help me on REI's roof. So, we have REI's roof. Okay. And we have our skylights. And we can do a warning line 10 foot back. And that would be great. But if you don't want to set a warning line, because that could cost you some money, okay? If we can find an anchor to attach to and put a knot in our rope and do position restraint, we only have to do 1,800 pounds in Oregon. That means it only has to be able to take 1,800 pounds. So we have these components called bean straps. And these are made to choke on themselves. Okay. If you can find something, a manufactured platform, stairs that go over the edge and then it comes over the side, you can put this around those stairs. If you can find an HVAC unit that's anchored to the roof, you can put this around these poles that protect the HVAC unit. If it has a secondary platform that goes up, and there's some metal stairs, you can attach this to the metal stairs. If this it's has... Easy. It's easy to find something that has on a commercial building. You're going to find something attached to it. I'm more, I mean, what we do... Hold on.